Today in Apple news, we have new iPhone 16 rumors, including color details, a cool new feature that may be coming to iOS 18, hands-on with iPhone 16 dummy models, and more. Now, before we begin, be sure to subscribe to stay in the Apple loop and to be updated on iPhone 16 rumors, leaks, and news as we approach its inevitable release later this fall. Also, for more rumors and leaks, be sure to check out my Apple News playlist linked in your cards now, as well as down below in the description. And as always, be sure to use the timestamps below to skip to whichever section or sections that most interest you. Now, kicking things off, according to a rumor from a Weibo-based leaker, Fixed Focus Digital, Apple's forthcoming iPhone 16 Plus model will come in the following colors, blue, pink, yellow, green, black, white, and purple, compared to blue, pink, yellow, green, and black of the iPhone 15 Plus, meaning that Apple may add both white and purple colors to this year's lineup. Now, it's unclear whether the new colors will be exclusive to the iPhone 16 Plus or if they'll also make their way to the smaller iPhone 16 as the leaker didn't specify simply beyond stating, quote, iPhone 16 Plus. But Either way, it's possible. So let me know what you think about a possible white and purple iPhone 16 model down below in the comments. Next, let's talk about what I'm most excited to in today's video, a possible new iOS 18 feature titled, quote, Safari Browsing Assistant. Now, according to backend code on Apple servers discovered by Nicholas Alvarez, Apple may be preparing to launch an all new feature that could help users when browsing the web via the built in Safari app. Now, while nothing beyond the name is confirmed at this time and anything more would be pure speculation, we know that Apple is heavily investing in AI efforts for iOS 18 to ensure that they don't get left behind in the AI race. Seriously, we've heard so much about Apple's AI efforts, and I'm really excited to see what they have in store for iOS 18. In fact, we've talked at length recently about some of the new AI-based features Apple is expected to implement in iOS 18, but this is the first time we're hearing about a possible Safari browsing assistant. And I, for one, think it would be very cool to have some sort of AI powered assistant to aid you when trying to parse through information, fact check things you find on the web, and even guide you to new websites and search results. Now, second to last, before we talk about the hands-on iPhone 16 model story as part of a lackluster list of new things expected in iOS 17.5, Seriously, it seems like a boring release. Check out my video on that if you don't believe me. There's a new word game called Quartiles that will appear for Apple News Plus subscribers on iOS 17.5. Basically, it's a daily puzzle that starts with a grid of 20 tiles and you can use between one to four tiles to form words. <laughs> Again, it's a snore fest, I know, but it's one of the new features expected to come in iOS 17.5. Now, finally, what most of you have been waiting for and what I actually missed in one of the last episodes of Apple News, we've recently received one of the best looks at the design of the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro models to date. Well-known leaker Sonny Dixon followed up the iPhone 16 case pictures that I reported on in a previous episode with physical models or dummy units of allegedly the iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Plus, iPhone 16 Pro, and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, for those of you wondering what the heck these shiny metal fake iPhones mean, they're actually casts usually milled from a solid piece of metal that typically make the rounds this time of year as we approach iPhone season. And they allow case makers and accessory manufacturers to ensure that their products 
will fit the measurements of the new devices. Now, these dummy units seem to confirm a past rumor that the action button will be making its way to the lower end iPhones this year. As most of you know, one of the key features of the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max was the addition of a new customizable button. Well, this time it looks like Apple may bring it to all iPhone models, and it may even act to give dynamic photography and videography features and functions when using the camera app. Of course, though, I still expect it will be customizable and offer flexible functionality when not taking pictures and videos. Also, we get a very, very rough idea of the slightly larger size of the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max models, as their screens are expected to increase from 6.1 to 6.3 and 6.7 to 6.9 inches respectively. Not a big deal, pun intended, but I'm sure it will be slightly noticeable nevertheless as phones continue to trend to being bigger and bigger. What do you guys think and what are you most excited for and looking forward to as we approach not only iOS 18's release later this fall, but also that of the brand new iPhone models? Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Also, let me know down there what type of videos you are most interested in from me and the channel in general. I know previously, you know, we were mostly focused on jailbreaking here at iCrack Your iDevice, but seeing as that has dwindled over the years, you know, I'm trying to focus on covering things that I have in the past, such as Apple news, rumors, leaks. I mean, going back on my channel, you'll see a vast catalog of videos on those exact same topics just for years past but if you want to see anything new let me know down below in the comment section i really hope you guys liked this video be sure of course to give it a like if you did hit that subscribe button to ensure that you are in the apple news loop and that you don't miss out on any of these exciting new leaks and rumors as we start to approach the inevitable release of those devices later this fall and until next time this is icu signing out